It's been a few days now. I still haven't weighed in on Israel-Palestine. I honestly don't know who to post. Usually it's easy. BLM, bang, Ukraine, bang, COVID, bang. Hey, did you do your Israel-Palestine post yet? I've never missed a stand. So who'd you go with? I look at my phone, I see a lot of Republicans supporting Israel. So I go, maybe stay away from that. Then I see a lot of the people we've been calling Nazis supporting Palestine. But then get this, the people that we've been calling them Nazis with are happy Israel's getting attacked. Riddle me that. But there really is no easy answer here. Yeah, so uh, who is that? Ryan Long doesn't know where, where to Ryan stand at this Long. point. It's any sympathies for Ryan Long's um, positioning or lack thereof? How are you doing over there, man? Concerned, I guess, would be the right word. <clears throat> what are you concerned about, specific? What, just everything that's going on, right? I mean, you have... We, we're living at a time where we have so much access to information, but it's the quality of the information is always questioned because it's being manipulated into into making people think a certain way. And it's kind of sad, you know, and it's sad because you want to understand what's going on. And you really can't, right? Because information is weaponized. So the moment, and, and, and so even by asking for clarity, <laughs> you find yourself in the predicament like Ryan Long. I mean, it was a skit. It's hilarious, but I mean, there's probably some people out there. Maybe not necessarily. Well, I mean, maybe there are because I've heard people lose their job, right? And this is again, this is all through legacy media where I heard this, and I, and I don't know the examples off the, the top of my head, but I mean, it's like, how do you understand if you already question the source of where this information is coming from? And how do you gain understanding if you're not even able to ask a question without worrying about some potential consequence?